Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have another scan tool that a lot of you would have never seen in your life. I have never seen this company in my whole time of using scan tools and this has been for many, many years. Whether it be in garages, whether it be have been doing them on YouTube. I've never ever seen this scan tool on Amazon, eBay, or even floating about by anyone done it even on YouTube theirself. Now this scan tool is one of these that many of you will think, oh, this looks similar to these other manufacturers, but you are completely wrong. Now after having some time using it, I have become very, very attached to this one scan tool and there's reasons why that is. Now there's a lot of features this offers you which other manufacturers do not give you. Now this scan tool isn't available on Amazon or eBay, so I will give you the website for where you can go and find this scan tool. But on their website, it actually states to contact them to query this scan tool product itself because they don't give prices out even on their website, only to you when you inquire yourself. Now I'm expecting this scan tool to be around two and a half grand to $3,200 in the US, but it is really, really worth the price. If you do have a big garage and you're constantly doing all different makes and models, this scan tool is a must for you. If especially you're doing trucks, cars, bikes, this scan tool is a major, major plus and a good addition to your workshop. When I first used it myself, I was really, really shocked at the features this system actually had and the way it's been thought out and laid out even on the software. So I am gonna get onto the video and I just wanna state that this product was sent to me by AID Tools. So let's get onto the video and show you the scan tool they have sent me. What? God damn, get it done, will ya? Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes cause his memories. We running through New York so you know. Okay guys, so this is the device I was actually sent. As you can see, as I said to you, it is AID Tools. Yes, all of us are gonna have no idea who that is. These scan tool companies keep cropping up, sending me products that many of us have never even heard of, including myself. They have sent it to me, and this is the Platinum HD, so this is literally top of the range product they do that covers everything from trucks, cars, you name it, it does it all. This also does the automated driver assistance systems, so you can actually recalibrate them, scan all them, and I will go over all that and show you everything on the actual product. So as you can see, it does come in this big black hard case. And the reason they put them in hard cases is so that way to protect them from damage, drops, or anything. Because a lot of people, especially garages, will store this on shelves. And if they drop, obviously you don't want to smash everything inside there. So they do put them in hard cases to carry them around and be able to protect them. Now, just like the Altel, just like Top Don, just like Pink Car, they all come in big cases like this. Bearing in mind, I have every single scan tool you guys can actually think of. I have had, I've actually got a whole shed full of scanners. It is unbelievable and I'm stacking to the roof of them. Uh, this is where companies just keep sending me them and this is no end to it. And because they send them in big cases like this, they just keep stacking up. Now inside, you'll see we've got all the scan tool equipment. Now you'll see here, it is quite different. When I say different, we've actually got a VCI box. Now, if you remember on my top down one, I didn't actually have um, a VCI box like this. But this, I say, has been copied because if many of you guys know, Altel use a VCI box. They don't use a wireless dongle like Top Don and Finkar. They use a VCI box. And if you can see, it connects up in there and it's actually wireless and done by Bluetooth. Now, the scan tool inside, I'll show you that in a sec but you can see we've got all the accessories. So that's why I just want to show you what accessories it comes with. So inside the case, we've got the accessories. So if we just open that up, you'll see in there, we've got all the instructions and leaflets and all our adapters inside this one. And over here, you'll have all your other adapters that connect on to the VCI, which is this here, for all different makes and models of cars, trucks, boats, bikes, you name it, it can do it all. Now inside this section, You'll see here it's all velcroed up. In here, you will have your normal serial number code, which you'll need to register your device, which is what's 
very common now on a lot of the Chinese diagnostics tools. You will have a serial number and an activation code. You will need that for your updates and to obviously authorize your device so you get your two years free updates and everything else. You've also got all your instruction booklets and obviously the device itself. Now inside here, we have got all the packets. So this right here will be for all your VCI connections, your charging connection for the actual tablet device itself and everything else that needs to connect onto the VCI. You've also got another socket here that connects onto the VCI with the Ethernet port uh, and that's going to be for coding certain vehicles and obviously ADAS as well. You've also got another OBD connection right there. You've got a USB connection as well right here that connects in. You've also got all different fuses, different leads, Ethernet cables and everything else you're going to need. You've also got power leads there to power the OBD ports on certain cars if need be. And your charger will be in there as well with your USB-C cable to be able to charge the tablet. Now obviously we're not going to open all that because we have no need. But you can see it's got everything you need. It is very, very packed with different adapters, different things. You've got another adapter right here, which I believe is for Mercedes, which you connect on as well. That one's in there. So we'll leave all that just like that, because this is not your focus. So you do have everything in this unique kit. So this scan tool is mostly aimed at big garages, big independent garages that are looking to do it all at half the price of your normal snap-on and Bosch scanners that can do all makes and all models. Now, this is very, very sturdy as well. Like I said, everything is built very, very nicely. These cases are exactly the same as any Chinese scan tool you actually buy. Now inside here is the main thing that obviously we're gonna be wanting to see. Now, when you first get this, you are gonna to have to turn it on, which I've already done, and you will have to register the device and obviously the serial number as you saw in there with your leaflet. Now, when we turn the scan tool on, you'll see right here, it will show A AID tools. Many of you wouldn't have even heard of this brand, as I said to you, and neither what did I until they contacted me and I still don't know who they are. I've tried looking them up online and I can't find anything of the sort. But it's the same kind of tablet as if many of you guys remember that the Think Cars got, Top Don's got, everyone else you would have seen on my Top Don Thinks Plus, it looks exactly the same. It's no different. As I said to you, the only difference is, is the VCI box is different because obviously they can't make it all the same. So they have made a VCI box, which I'm really, really happy about because it makes it feel more premium because most cars come with a VCI box compared to your normal Bluetooth dongle. Now this one right here should have all the latest updates and everything ready to go. I'm just going to show you how it works on the demo settings itself. So let's run through a demo on this aid tools system. So I'm going to click diagnosis right up here and you're going to see we've got demo and we've got all the manufacturers so in here you can see all the manufacturers it's got you can do them all and you can see there we've got all the trucks buses the lot you name it we've got them all you've also got ecu calibration right there you've got a lot of different manufacturers right here so many some of them i have never even heard of in my life um, but a lot of them, as I said, will relate to trucks and things in all the other countries. So this thing can actually do everything you ever want to do. There is no limit on what this can do. It doesn't just do cars. Whatever vehicle you go up to, it will probably scan more than you'll ever, ever need in your life. If we just click demo, you can see it says about demo and our device right there. We're just going to collect demo. We don't want to connect to no device. It will load up right here. And if we just click, I don't know, forward, we'll have a look here. You can see right here, all the screen. Now, if you can see, you've got PCM, ABS, BCM, ICM, and all the different modules. You can do a system scan, and you can see here how it would scan all the modules. And it looks very, very like tech dealership, as you'll get in the dealers, how their systems would scan. It's very, very sophisticated system and state of the art. Now, bearing in mind, you can do all this on your forward, do not think this is going to be the same for every manufacturer. All different manufacturers loadout screen, especially from the OBD readout, is going to be different to what you see here. Now, if you go to system list, you can see all the systems here, which you can enter. So obviously this is going to be bi-directional. You can obviously control certain things to come on and off. You can have the indicators flash, the horn beep. You can run all different tests with the system. Bearing in mind, this is a state of the art system. So therefore, you can do a lot more than your cheap normal scanners. This will do everything you would expect 
from a $2,000, $3,000 system. We've also got ADAS calibration. So you can see here, that's for the lane departure, warning, cruise control, 360 camera. We can recalibrate all that. We've got the ADAS system scan. So you've got the lane departure warning, ADAS calibration, front camera calibration, radar calibration, 360 camera. And you've also got a health report. So you can check everything as the, on the health of the car as well. So that's another good thing. Now, if we just go back out of that one, we'll come out of there. We go to Toyota. There's another tree on Toyota. Now, we want to do system scan on there because a lot of people would probably be interested in that in Toyota. You can see here it's running all scan as well. And this is the way it would scan all the systems. So AID tools' system is completely different to what you'd see on top down the way it scans. This scans completely different and it's got a different kind of layout, a different tree the way it reads all the modules. Now, you can see here it's really really nicely laid out again you can go to system list you can enter the dme if you wanted to and you can see there you can do actuation test egr test whatever you want to do special functions so you've got injector rate adjustment learning valve tronic limit positions registered battery replacement you've got that all there you've also got ads calibration so you've got the radar cruise blind spot monitor front recognition camera and you can scan all the systems as well calibrate them and obviously do a health report on all the engine there's many different things you can do on this system. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is we are gonna plug this up to my VM and we're gonna see how it works on this car. So what I'll do is I'll just drop this down so we can put that there. We'll get the VCI out, which you'll see right here. This is the VCI. We'll just open up this case. And we're gonna get this packed right here. Now, inside here, you should be able to see your VCI. And this is gonna be your VCI port right here that you're gonna use. Now on the VCI itself, you're gonna see, you're just gonna plug this straight in here and it, it will clip in just like that and screw straight in to the VCI itself. And that's in. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is plug this up to my car. So if you can see here where we plug the VCI into my car, it is now updating the VCI itself because it's updated the actual tablet system it's now going to update the vcr which is the box inside the car when you plug the vci in the lights will come on to let you know that it's plugged up and then this will beep as well to let you know it's connected to each other now they do connect by bluetooth and as you can see there the update is now done once that's done that will reboot and then we can successfully go ahead now what this is doing is scanning the vin of the car finding the vin which it will do hopefully for this kind of expected scanner I expect it to actually find the vin as you've seen there and it will beep when it's found it, so there is your answer right there. It's found the BMW, the chassis, but it doesn't get the year correct. It's instead it's a 2012. We're gonna just do diagnosis. This is the fastest way to find it. We're gonna run a diagnosis on the car. I'm expecting some fault codes on this car because it has been sitting a while and the battery is quite flat. So we are gonna expect it. Now, if you can see here, it's now gonna read the data. We'll let it do its thing and read the whole car. Once it reads, we will then be able to access all the systems on the car. So you can see here, it's scanning everything very, very quickly as well. It picks up everything on the car very, very fast. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if this does actual coding, but we will find out when we go into the settings because there's something I'm not sure about. But if it has followed features from Top Don and Think Car, this should be able to do coding. Now, if you can see here, as I said to you, the system trees are gonna load up. And to be honest, I really do prefer this layout because it shows you the lines perfectly on the BM compared to other manufacturers that don't show you this. If you can see, it shows me all the trees on what network they're actually on. This is very, very important, especially for BMW to show you what network they're all on, where other scan tools don't show you this, and this is critical, I must say very critical. Now, I did say about coding and programming, and finding enough has come up right up here. So I'm just gonna click that, because I just wanna see, and I wanna see what it says about the programming and coding. So if you can see here, that's the vehicle order. Now I'm gonna click next. Obviously we're not gonna do no programming and coding because the battery is quite uh, flat. Now if you can see here, we've got retrofit, program, coding, personalization, program backup restoration. So this device can do programming and coding. This is something I wasn't actually expecting because the top one could do coding, 
but it couldn't program. This can also do retrofits, which is a very, very good feature as well. Now this scan tool has proven already to me to be well worth the money to the fact it can do all this. Now, if you can see here, this is all the modules. We're gonna go into system list and you can see all the modules right here. We're seeing the special functions. We've got all right here what we can do. We can reset the oil service interval, read and delete the adaptions, placement and repair, reset the ELV on the body. We've got calibration of body general module, add tuner selection. So you can literally do everything with this scan tool. You've got CBS reset, you've got remote door unlock activations. You've got basically everything you'll ever need in a scan tool, chassis, brake line mix up test. You've got all the DSC adjustment. DSC sensor adjustment, driver assistance, the activation of engine oil. What else have we got in here? Anti theft system. That's for the IMO. So there you go. You can probably soon later on, you're going to be able to make keys with this device, which is really, really good. Now, if we just do a system scan, what this will do is scan all the modules. So you'll see here it's going to now scan all the modules. Now, really, they should come back blue for saying scanned. If they don't come back blue, it means they won't be scanned. It'll be abnormal with red, normal with green. We're running a scan on all of them and just going to check them. And you can see here, it's going to go all along the tree and it runs it very, very nicely as well. The same way ISTA would run the test is the way this is running it. And you can see here, it's run them all. Now it's run all of them and it's scanned them all. Now what we can do is do diagnostic plan and there's no DTCs in the ECU itself. Therefore, there isn't going to be no diagnostic plan. Now, if there was fault code stored in here, you would be able to do diagnostics. This is a really, really, really good scan tool. It's better than what I was actually expecting. I was expecting this to be like Think Car and Top Don, but this has actually outdone me more than I actually realized. I'm actually really, really shocked with this product. And the fact it can program and code is an absolute plus. I, like I said, I've never heard of this company until now, but the fact it can do all that is well worth the money alone because this means it can program and code all other cars as well. Now, if I'm just gonna come out of here because I just wanna check some other things on the car. And if we can come completely out of here, as you can see it beeps for the VCI. We'll just come out completely. We're gonna go into maintenance, see what we've got in here. So you can see here, we've got the AF, brake, oil, SAS, BMS, bleeding, ETS, TPMS, DPF, AdBlue, AFS, airbag, coolant, EGR, gear, gearbox, IMMO, injection, language, knock sensor, other meter, seats, stop start, sun, SUS, transport, tire, and windows. You can do a lot of different functions just with this one scan tool. Now I've shown you exactly how it works. Like I said, I've gave you a brief demonstration. I'll probably be using this scan tool a lot more purely because of the fact it can do programming and coding. That was not something I was expecting this scan tool to actually do. Very, very shocked to say the least. I did not expect that, but this is one great, great scan tool. The fact it can program and code is an absolute plus, And I really, really do recommend this scan tool. As I said to you guys, it is not on Amazon. It is not on eBay. The company itself, I have no idea what they're planning to do, where they got this um, scan tool from. They just decided to send it to me. I don't know where you guys can actually find them. I'm gonna try and find a link at some point. If it's not in the description now, I will try and link it at some point in the future when they do come about on the market or when they do decide to actually put it on either eBay or Amazon, I will link it for you guys to go and purchase it. But I do actually recommend this device, especially if you're a big garage or you do work on a lot of cars like myself. Even if you work on a lot of BMWs, this is a device that you can just buy once and one time only and be happy with it and not need anything else because this one will do it all. Okay guys, so as you've seen there, I've now shown you the AID Tools scan tool that was sent to me by the company AID Tools. Now, as I said to you, I cannot link it on Amazon and I cannot link it from eBay because they are not sold on any of them platforms. They do have a website. However, there is no pricing on their website. This is purely because this company want you to actually contact them. Now, this scan tool, I really, really do recommend it. The fact is, though, they have hidden the pricing of this device and there is a reason for that, clearly. And that's purely because they know you can't get these functions and how nice this is laid out on any other scan tool. And therefore, they know many people are gonna wanna buy their scan tool over other competitors. Now, the reason they hide their prices is because probably they feel 
they can charge more because of what they're offering. That's why they've made me do this video to show people what their device can do to others. And if I'm being honest, I prefer their device over all the others I've actually received. Their device is not limited. The fact it can program and code is a real, real plus, especially for BMWs. The fact it can do ADAS calibration, that you can test all the sensors, it's bi-directional, it's everything you want in a scan tool. And the fact it can do all trucks, cars, bikes, you name it, buses, this is a real, real plus, especially if you run a garage and you're not just specific for one brand. But even if you are specific for one brand, this is gonna come in very, very handy. As I showed you, it shows all the modules on the tree necessary for you to be able to diagnose a lot more easier than what you would have done on other scan tools. Therefore, if you do own a garage or you are just doing exactly what I do, a lot of different cars all the time, this scan tool is a must for you. So I hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video and this brief demonstration of using this scan tool. I will be doing other videos in the future using this to show you guys how it all works and i will possibly be using this to actually program a car to show you guys how the programming actually works so thank you very much for watching guys and this product was sent to me by iad tools i hope you've actually enjoyed their product and if you do want to check it out go over to them or you can run it on a search on google and you'll probably find it yourself thank you very much for watching guys it's bmw dr dean here and goodbye